It's um, Sunday morning and uh, today I have a message to you about it's it's kind of a life hack that I think is very important to me so today when I woke up I just realized it so some time ago my cousin Mike told me about uh, being bored in life triggering you to you know like decrease this excitement and therefore giving up on your motivation so um, what he suggested is you know doing cool things and fun things and um, you know sometimes when you feel bored you start to like <laughs> binge eating candy and uh, playing video games and um, drinking and all but actually you know we all kind of seem to use those things when we are uh, really bored with life so it's either we're sad and stressed or bored so those seem to be really uh, dominant um, negative uh, kind of feelings that push us to work with less motivation be less efficient uh, don't feel like waking up in the morning so stress is a big one for me and I fight with it but boredom is really another one because if you have those insane routines of waking up every day and um, you know like taking ice bath and and do all those terrible you know things that I do um, I mean I've lost 18 kg in three months so I mean the results are awesome the business is doing great as well since I have implemented uh, healthy routines and I mean obviously those things are great but at the same time they are boring right like it's really boring to go for a walk every day and it's really boring to wake up at 5 30 a.m. and it's really boring to uh, well ice baths are not boring they're just painful uh, but yeah I want to I want to share this with you because it's a simple life hack that that works as well which is that you should simply do exciting things and that's why yesterday we had this um, boat party um, where we were freaking dancing in like foam yeah like just check it out that I think I think that's something we all need uh, running our stressful companies to do crazy fun things uh, every now and then I think it's gonna be extremely important to keep yourself hyped and motivated and what's the most important is scheduling those things early like for example this um, this uh, this week I gonna go to to the tallest um building in southeast asia which which is taller than petrona towers or i think it's second tallest after petrona i'm not actually sure if it's the tallest or second eighth tallest building in the world so um yeah i was in dubai to check this out but now the uh, that i'm in vietnam i'm gonna check this eighth tallest building we're gonna stay there what i want you to do is to schedule something really fun for yourself and um I want to see how you're gonna feel and this is applicable to people who are hustling hard and working all the time I want you to schedule something fun uh, this Saturday uh, next Saturday and the Saturday after and obviously you're gonna make this within your budget so I mean obviously you're gonna like if you can afford it uh, schedule freaking um, parachuting like Jonas the other week 
uh, if you can't afford it, uh, but you can afford something you know less expensive, then try scheduling something really cool like a meetup with friends or something like that. And I'm pretty sure that just this thought in your head that there is something awesome waiting for you will already make your you know reasoning to work much more exciting. And really, the problem that we have as digital entrepreneurs is that well. Uh, you don't see direct reward for working. You don't have this, you know, social life. You don't meet people at the office. Uh, you don't, um, yeah, it doesn't really connect. So what I was trying to say is a story from uh, the book called Blue Ocean, uh, Red Ocean Strategy, which is a classic you have to read. So the story is that the police department um, couldn't really understand what it's like to drive, you know, like a li little small car on New York streets. And they just looked at the numbers. So there was like kind of like a digital business. And then they got this one guy who was, you know, deciding about the budgets for what kinds of cars uh, the police department is getting. And they basically got him in the car and they drove him around. So that he had this experience and then he was like oh yeah like you guys can't uh drive around in such a small car it's so uncomfortable so here is the budget to use a better car so how does it connect i was trying to find a connection it was a little bit hard but the point being is that if you're on a digital business it's really abstract you just look at your uh, workflows and everything is so virtual and so non-tangible that it's really hard for you to sense direct reward or punishment for the things that you do. So your revenue gonna reflect your work, but it's gonna happen a month or two or three months after. So it's never gonna, or almost never gonna uh, be a direct reward, which might be a little bit different in a physical business, but it's really not neither when you work in management and if you manage a larger organization, it's gonna be very abstract, very virtual. So you won't be able to trigger this reward mechanism right away, um, feeling you're rewarded for your work. And this is, um, this is why you want to somehow develop rewards for your work uh, right after a hard week of work or right after you close a sale to kind of condition yourself to start enjoying the work if you don't yet. So yeah, that's um, today's Sunday's piece of advice. Thanks for tuning in and make sure to subscribe. Cheerios.